Hello, welcome back to my workshop. Right, today I'm working on this radius glow lamp. You'll have seen this, no, you might have seen this in a few videos. Um, the problem with it is, well you ought to be able to see there, is that whilst that uh, cup washer looks fine that way around, it's obviously started completely falling to bits and this obviously means that we're not getting any uh, air pressure. So. As life could have it, purchased from the Fettle box, I have a um, stove washer kit which has an appropriately sized cup washer. So, what we're going to do is simply change the washer. So, we're going to get in there, undo that there. That's a tiny little nut. Pull that off there. That's going to fall apart. Now I'm going to do is get a screwdriver. Hold on. Right. Screwdriver on that. Then we can hold that with a pair of pliers. Hold on. Try that the other way around. This old washer has completely fallen to bits. Right, let's get that cleaned up. Reasonably simple job. Clean all the For some reason or other, that is an eight sided nut. They often are in these things. Right. Doesn't need to be up particularly tight. On it goes. On the little nut goes. We'll do that up all the way down. And you should note that when you do that, that still can move. So we're now going to put a little bit of oil on this. So it helps soften it up. See if that works. I'm going to tighten that up. It does, it's sprayed paraffin everywhere. So, what we're now going to do, might as well go for a quick light up. Incidentally, if this is your first time here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hit the like, it all helps. Oh, we're just waiting for this to warm up. Oh, I'm 
should turn that off. Right, let's turn that off. Close that. Just a little bit of pressure. We'll pump up some of the fuel up to where it will get hot. Right, now I will fast forward over the boring bit while this waits to go up, but before I do, coming up when I've edited it, will be the making of this, which is a magnetic swarf pickup tool. Looks fairly simple, it's quite a nice little tool. Um, the twiddly bits is what took an age. Soldering that bit on the bottom there was when I found out this thing stopped working and I had to go, it resorts to a much smaller lamp, which was quite dull. As you can see, I've got quite a few bits of copper tube about, like this one, this one, and even this one. For those who know about these things, yes, that does mean coming soon will be the making of steam engines. Right, I'll fast forward now. Take that outside to get it burning properly, back in a sec. And there are these lids. I do recommend actually generally trying to light it outside because if you do need to be careful to not turn out too much. It does not go. When you've let the pressure out of one of these, undo this knob a little bit. I'll have to get used to light that again. It's been a little while since I've used that one. As you can see, it's uh, quite a beastie. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please do like, please share, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Comments welcome.